If you think climate change is a worry for the future, think again. A new U.S. government report says it's happening now and it's happening all around us. From powerful hurricanes to seasonal allergies, the cascading effects of climate change are big and small, touching every part of our lives. And the report urges, as we hear again and again, that the time to act is now. It says sea ice is melting. What was covered decades ago is now shrunk. An example, this Alaskan glacier in 1941. Now, look at the same month in 2004. Warming waters also means harsher and prolonged extreme weather. Droughts and wildfires as the western U.S. gets hotter and the east is seeing strong rainstorms. For more on this, let's bring in Paul Hunter in Washington tonight. Paul. Peter, say the experts, this is perhaps the most comprehensive study on climate change in America in U.S. history. Indeed, the message, it's not tomorrow's problem, it's today's. In case you hadn't noticed, it's pretty bad out there. Much snowier winters, way rainier springs, longer and hotter summers. Whether you call it global warming or climate change, say those who've been warning that it's coming, the fact is, it's already here. The single most important bottom line that shines through all these hundreds of pages is that climate change is not a distant threat. A U.S. federally commissioned report from more than 250 climate scientists and experts four years in the making underlines the effects it's already having in the U.S., some obvious, such as the damage from Superstorm Sandy, others less so. That mudslide in Washington state in March, recall, came after heavy rains. The take-home message is it's happening now and we need to pay attention. And as the report reminds everyone, the 90s were warmer than the 80s and the 2000s are warmer than the 90s, thus noting it's crucial to prepare for more weather calamities. Whether it means increased flooding, greater uh, vulnerability to drought, uh, more severe wildfires, uh, all of these things are having an impact on Americans as we speak. Barack Obama spoke publicly on this today, though only to TV meteorologists, noting as well his plans for legislation to curb climate change have hit roadblocks on Capitol Hill, where even with today's report, Republican lawmakers stood firm. Even if we were to enact the kind of national energy regulations the president seems to want so badly, it would be unlikely to meaningfully impact global emissions anyway, unless other major industrial nations do the same thing. In a sense, Peter, we've heard a lot of this before from both sides in the debate, the call to action versus the futility of that or even the need for it. What this report tries to do is emphasize what's been happening out there, that climate is changing now with the hope that people are listening. Peter. Paul Hunter in Washington tonight. Thanks, Paul.